Hello and welcome to video one. So what we'll do first here is get the marl into our game, get the ground and add some materials. So let's just do that first. Now, before we do that though, we'll set up this view. Personally, um, with a relatively simple game, especially at the start, having a two by three layout works best. And so if we do that, we end up with both the working view, so the scene view and the game view here. The hierarchy, which is going to have to all is going to have all our elements in the game. I'm just going to drag down here, and then that leaves our project view uh, folders above here, and that gives us access to any of the assets that we create. And then over here on the far right side is our inspector that will come to look at the properties. So let's put something in. So a 3D game here, we're going to put into a 3D object. And because it's a marble, we're going to put a sphere into the game. Game object, and you go 3D object, and then a sphere. Now, this object is placed in the middle of our scene, hopefully. And you can double check that on your inspector, which has our properties. And in the transform property, we have our position and 0, 0, 0. So it's centered in our game. Also, it's no rotation, and it's scaled 1, 1, 1. Basically, one unit is one meter in, in Unity. Now, uh, we'll get right into it by putting in the ground. Before we do that, though, let's call this the marble. So I'm just going to select up here, click on that. And I'm just going to type in marble, press enter, and you'll notice that here it is also called marble. Now, put in our ground. So I'm going to go to game object again, 3D object. And even though it's not really 3D, I'm going to put the plane in. And what you can see is that we've got a th plane and it is sitting at also 0, 0, 0. If that is not the case, if it's different, then make sure you reset the position. Uh, I cannot reset the position because it is already at its reset position, but you could reset the position there. We're going to scale this up to make our play area a little bit bigger. So on the X, we'll make that 2. And on the Z, we will also make that too. In Unity, X and Z is your flat plane. The Y, it represents the height. Now, you'll notice that our ball is a little bit into the ground. So we need to fix that. Click on your marble. And then over here on your position, raise the Y by 0.5. That way you'll be sitting directly on the plane. Before we move on, let's make sure our plane has a better name, and we'll call that ground. Just like in programming, it's a good idea to label and name your objects. We'll take a little tour here. If you use the middle mouse button, you can pan the camera in the scene window. If you hold control in the middle, and sorry, if you hold the right mouse button down, you can rotate around your object, zooming in and zooming out is with the scroll wheel. So pan with the middle mouse button pushed down, the right will rotate, and if you select something, it should rotate around that object. Okay? If you zoom way out, you need to zoom in on something, press F for frame, or I like to think of it as focus. Now at the moment in our world, we just have our two objects, they're not very colorful. Let's create a material and add it to it. We don't create it up here. The easiest place to do that is in your project window here. Before we do that, though, let's create a folder, just like you would in a typical Windows. If you right click, you can create folder. And we'll call this one materials. It shows that it's empty at the moment with having without this being filled in. Click on it and we'll enter the materials folder. That way, any material we create, it will be created inside this folder. We will go click on plus, and about a third of the way down, there is material. Click on that, and we can create a new material. Name, player, mat. We'll call that the player material. At the moment, is this default gray. We can change that by simply clicking in here and selecting a color. You may already have a color that you know by your RGB values or your hexadecimal codes, or you can create it on here. 
I'm going to go with a yellow. Nice bright yellow, but it doesn't matter. Any color you're interested in. So I've chosen a yellow color. Um, you can try with the smoothness. That will make it a little bit brighter with the shininess on it. There's a few other things we won't worry about. Now, at the moment, our player does not have the material on it. We simply click and drag, and we can sort of apply it to that. Now, it might be a little dark at the moment. We'll fix the lighting later on. For the ground, let's put a material on the ground. So again, plus material. We can call this ground mat. And again, we can choose our material. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to make the ground blue, but it's up to you. Now we have that ground material and we can drag in. So now we have a yellow ball on a blue object. If it's, uh, and you can see because I increased the smoothness, you can see that shininess that's on the ball. If it's not looking like you like, just go back and you can play around with it, right? To make it more or less closer to what you want. But that looks pretty good. All right. One other thing that we'll make sure we do is that we save our scene. At the moment, it's called sample scene. That's fine. I'm going to come out here once. You'll see that there is a scenes and there is the sample scene there. Change the name, but we'll just leave it right there at the moment. Later on, you might choose to add more scenes to your game, but at the moment, we'll just leave this one scene. Good. So that's it for the first video. We were able to create two game objects, the marble and the ground. We were able to modify the position by changing the Y uh, uh, height here. We were able to change the scale of the plane and call it ground to twice its previous size. And we were also able to create a couple materials uh, that we we're able to add to our scene. Next step, we will get the player moving.